I'll save it as food store food store that js and go ahead and save it and make sure that you save it as whatever you link to right here in your HTML file so hold on got an itch in my ear oh yes that felt so good alright so now what we need to do the first thing that I recommend always doing is storing your object in an easy to use variable because this object is kinda of, it kinda of has a long name so I'm just gonna go ahead and store it in XML um, H uh, T T P and go ahead and set this equal to create X M L H T T P crust object. Now this is actually a function name and we're going to be building this function right now. Now, first of all, why do we need this variable to hold this object? Well, the XML HTTP request object, which we're going to be getting in the function that we're going to be building, this is the awesome object that allows you to communicate with the server without having to refresh the page. So this is basically the most important object in Ajax. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So let's go ahead and create a function. And this was the function right here. This function right here, and it's not going to take any parameters. So basically the job of this function is to pretty much get this object and store in this variable right here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to say what variable we're working with. Copy, paste, and then you know later on we can set this equal to something but for right now the first thing we want to do is I want to explain this. First of all Internet Explorer is gay or I shouldn't say that it's politically incorrect. Internet Explorer is retarded. So they do things differently and not in a good way they always do things differently in a bad way so the very first thing we need to do in order to use Ajax for all the people the idiots using Internet Explorer we need to make sure that Ajax works for them so this is how you set um, your XML HTTP variable equal to the object that Internet Explorer uses so the very first thing you want to test is if window dot active X object. Now this is only going to be true if they're running Internet Explorer. So basically if this is true then it means the user is running Internet Explorer. So what do we want to do now? Well what we want to do is try to set this variable, let me just go ahead and copy this, set this variable equal to new active X object and is a parameter you go ahead and put this in double quotation marks Microsoft dot XML HTTP so basically this is how you set this variable equal to an object if the user has Internet Explorer and if not then you can just go ahead and catch um, all your errors and just go ahead and set it equal to false and we want to set it equal to something just so it returns something so to set this equal to false so this of course if they're running Internet Explorer and they can't even set the variable equal to something then they should probably just go out and buy a new computer so basically remember that I said that this if block right here is testing or pretty much setting this variable equal to the object and this is the object that is behind the heart of Ajax if they have Internet Explorer else and we need to else block because hopefully this is the bit of code that runs because hopefully they're on a other browser hopefully Google Chrome so let's just go ahead and copy this try because I'm lazy so this is what happens if they're on you know Firefox or Google Chrome obviously we don't keep this right here because this is only for Internet Explorer what we want to do is set this equal to a new XML H TTP request and this is actually um, a built-in uh, function so we don't need to code this ourselves this is how you should properly set this uh, variable but basically if they have Internet Explorer this is how you set the variable equal to the object if not then this object is the one we want to use and remember like I said this is going to be set equal to the variable 
in this line right here and this is the object that's responsible for communicating with PHP or communicating with the XML behind the scenes that the user doesn't see. So now go ahead out of your if else statement and what we want to test is basically if um, if that was set to false so how can we do that well we can go ahead and say if not XML so basically whenever you set a variable equal to this object it's going to return true if it did it successfully if not it's going to return false or if you had one of these errors it's going to return false so basically if you couldn't set the object then we just go ahead and get a, an alert just to let the user know that hey something's wrong and we'll just say you know can't create uh, that object Haas so hopefully they never see that and else if you could uh, do it successfully then we just run a return XML HTTP and why do we want to return it because remember in this very first line before we start coding that function we set the variable equal to this object right or excuse me this function right here so of course this function needs a return statement or else this variable wouldn't be equal to anything so basically that's the very first function and you're gonna have this function in all of your Ajax uh, programs so make sure that you pretty much only have to code this one time and I'm gonna be only coding this one time but for the rest of these tutorials all of the Ajax functions or excuse me all of the Ajax programs are gonna use this function right here so congratulations uh, you probably did the most important thing in Ajax now we can go ahead and get to the good stuff which is you know making everything work in the background and communicating with the server so thank you guys for watching never get subscribed and in the next tutorial we're gonna be coding some more awesome functions